And he's fouled. Took the uh, shot from Criddle. First on Josh Criddle, who is prone to foul difficulty on occasion. Picks up his first, second on the team. Reggie Hearn going to the line. Reggie, shoot. Reggie Hearn shooting 71% on the year. He'll go to the line with a chance to cut into this UIC lead, but I've been very, very impressed by how the Flames have defended Northwestern. Very few easy shots by Northwestern. The defensive transition and mixing things up on that end of the floor, very, very impressive in the early going for the Flames. Mike Turner is in for Northwestern, replacing Ola. Will Simonton comes in, and uh, he gets Criddle. Joey Miller also in the ball game for UIC, and that's another three-point shooter that Northwestern must account for on, on the defensive end. Miller, a transfer in his own right from Eastern Illinois, shooting 50% from behind the arc on the year. One out of two for Hearn at the line. This is Miller, a coach's son. His dad was the head coach at Eastern Illinois. Almost seven minutes gone by, first half. This game has been played primarily on the half court. Humes was trying to post up Swapshire. Now they switch out. Swapshire to the guard. Barnes, Brown, deep three. And on the rebound battle, Simonton bumps Swapshire to the floor, and the foul is called on Simonton. We've talked about the defensive prowess that we've seen from UIC. There, Northwestern answers the favor. Did a really good job, Wayne, of not allowing UIC to probe them internally, either off the dribble penetration or an interior feed to Criddle. They had to settle for a long jump shot. Good job of cleaning up on the backboard. UIC by three, Sobolewski. Turner. What? Bill Carmody was saying Turner's a good passer out front. Really impressed with how UIC is defending this. Just a great job of team defense thus far. Oh, there's the cut. Swapshire with the feed to Hearn. Kicked out of bounds. Last touched by UIC. It looks like on that initial dribble penetration that that is going to be open, but UIC does a really good job, Wayne, of opening up with that inside hand. They've had their hands a lot of deflections thus far by the Flames. So many people talk. Howard Moore in his background with uh, Coach Bo Ryan up at Wisconsin. Defense is a big part of what they do at Wisconsin, and Howard has incorporated that here in his third season at UIC. Seven to go on the shot clock. Sobolewski off a screen by Turner, getting baseline. Oh, the feed of the cutting Hearn, and they beat the clock. And one. Excellent job, again, by Sobolewski of dribbling with his head up, Wayne. And how many times do you see a player kind of become a spectator? Hearn doesn't fall in to that trap. Watch him. The dribble penetration, that's an automatic dive. Sobolewski with his head up finds Hearn. Good team basketball and not panicking with the shot clock winding down. Daniel Barnes on the reach, picks up his first. Hearn misses the three-point try. Northwestern back to within one as the Flames set up. Simonton up high, picked up by Turner. Barnes getting a high screen from Simonton. Picked up at a switch by Turner. Takes him off the bounce. Nicely done. Nice job right there off the dribble by Barnes. But if you're Northwestern, you have to hop that left hand. You have to remember you're playing a left-hand player and force him to his off or right hand. Northwestern didn't do it, and Barnes made him pay. UIC by three. Crawford able to slip past Brown. Left it short. Simonton the rebound, and here come the Flames. This is Miller. Nice Humes pass. disengages inside. Beautiful feed from Brown. Excellent post feed, Wayne. Wonderful job by UIC of reversing the basketball on the release, as you mentioned, but it was the post feed that made it possible from Brown. UIC by five, biggest margin of the day. This is Turner. Sobolewski for three. That is an area of his ball game which has improved dramatically between his freshman and sophomore year. Came into this ball game shooting 52% from behind the arc. Simonton not expecting it. Turner knocked it away and knocked it out of bounds. Timeout. The Flames playing on the lead by two in Evanston thanks to this jumper by Daniel Barnes. Sean Morris will be 
in the top 10. I think what people are wondering is how long is that picture going to stay up there? Get it <laughs> off there. There may be people who are trying to eat something. That is that, disturbing. That's a dashing young as Woo! Sean Morris there on the right. I was young with the future <laughs> once. Now I have neither one, Wayne. Well, Drew Crawford closing in on the top 10. Here's a look at the senior co-captain. Did you like the mop there, Wayne? Oh, was, I loved it. That was Absolutely. delightful. Absolutely. You were ahead of your time. Yeah. <laughs> Through the hands of Miller. Northwestern appears to be in, well, now they're matchup man to man. Tom winding down to the shot clock. Miller deep three comes up short. It'll belong to the Wildcats. Good defensive intensity out of the timeout by Northwestern. Miller had more time than he thought right there. Yeah. He let that thing fly with five seconds. He could have taken at least one more dribble or another pass to a teammate. Almost halfway through this first half. Crawford working against Humes. Nice, nice rotation over. Nice. Simonton dissuaded Crawford, but then Marco Tulio missing from the outside. Here come the Flames. Amon Fells in the ball game, along with Jay Parker, number 23. Simonton out high. Here's Fells feeding Humes on the block over Crawford too high on the bank shot. Her in the rebound, Northwestern the ball. Nice flare by Northwestern. Excellent job by Crawford. Crawford on the move is bumped and fouled by Simonton. Really nice job by Crawford of setting up that dribble opportunity. He steps behind the little rub screen. The defender tries to come over the top right here. He senses that, that moment of indecision, able to turn the corner and get to the rim for the completion. So Drew Crawford, the senior out of Naperville, Illinois, heading to the free throw line. Team high 20 points in the victory over Illinois State. Now has six points in this ball game. Wildcats defeated TCU and Illinois State to win the South Padre Island Invitational. Ola back in for Northwestern. Crawford studies his second. And he makes them both. And Wayne, he needs to make that a bigger part of his ball game. Coming into this game, yeah. only 13 foul shot attempts in seven games. He's athletic. He can get to the rim. He converts at almost 77%. You can't just become a stationary jump shooter if you're Drew Crawford. Get to the rim and earn your points there as well. Yeah, Bill, Crawford, uh, Bill Carmody pointed that out about Crawford to us earlier today. I was surprised because Crawford's game, part of it is slashing to the bucket. Shot off the mark by Talton, but the rebound by Barnes and Northwestern failing to clear the defensive glass at a cost him. You have to go up with two hands in traffic. Northwestern doesn't do that. Leads to an easy opportunity for UIC. That's a really a momentum shift here in the first half, Wayne, because Northwestern done a nice job of clawing back. Ola posting up, raising with the right hand. Nicely done. Seven-footer out of Romania. Good job of getting the defender on his back, backed him all the way underneath the rim. Savvy play. UIC can't give up that kind of easy post position to Ola. Criddle back into the ball game for UIC. They double down on him briefly, and now Criddle turns baseline up and Ooh. under Ola. What a beautiful move. Great footwork by Josh Criddle. Wonderful up and under. Got the defender up in the air again, Wayne, showing his experience. Didn't panic with the double team in the scrape from Marco Tulio. Sobolewski out high. Marco Tulio feeding Crawford on the block against Brown. Raises with the right hand. And the rebound picked off by Humes. UIC back the other way. This is Talton running at the defense. Leaves for Humes for three. Missed it badly, and Hearn is there. Good job by Ola of getting in front of Criddle and taking away the second chance opportunity. Hearn jammed for a moment by Talton. Picked up at a switch by Humes. Ola down low in on Criddle, and he traveled. That's the right call. He pulled that pivot 